Welcome back guys. Today we'll be checking out Ixion. So basically this is frost punk in space where you manage a colony ship. Okay, first let's check the settings. Okay, let's see how many languages the game supports. Okay, that's a lot. Controls. Video settings. Quality settings. You can always max the textures. You can lower the shadow. And also, I don't like motion blur. Audio. Gonna drop the music in case it's also copyrighted music. So just in case. And gonna click on the accessibility button. By the way, this is a demo for the game. The demo is out right now in the Steam Next Fest. I'll put the link in the description so guys, so you can check it out for yourself, guys. Oh, I switch monitor. Why did you switch monitor? Okay, let's start a new game. Hey, that's a really cool ship. Welcome on board, passengers. I like how it's already animated. Everything Shadow is animated. The Sharon is now docked. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. Munchie decontamination protocol online. 
Disembarkation authorized. Message to crew members. Welcome on board the Tycoon, property of Dolus Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You will soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Administrator, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tycoon. In accordance with the Munchie Protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tycoon's automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. Administrator, I wanted to introduce you to your first tasks personally. I'm Dolo. What is this guy munching on? A council member Giovanni Batista. S sounds like an apple. So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, you will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada yada yada. Yada yada yada. Then you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, I have a feeling we are not coming back with the tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling, and distribution of resources. Construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos' focus on the Tycoon. But this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. Okay, let's pause the game. So I think we are not coming back after that test jump. So let's see what we have here. We have construction, what do we have? A workshop allows you to construct other buildings inside the Daikan. And stockpiles stores up to 100 units. To be functional, setters requires a workshop. You can build now, you can build one for free. Okay, so here we are. This is roads, workshop. What else? Fleet, man fleet management. Oh boy, we have. Mining ships and cargo ships? This game is gonna be fun. Tutorial. Uh, interior, exterior. What? We can see outside. Oh boy, this is so cool. Oh, we are only one slice. So I guess we can. This other stuff is gonna get unlocked soon. Okay, the moon abandoned base. This 
summarize intelligence collecting from the abandoned base camp. The base is out of commission, accelerator systems, operational, operational. You may use to restore power. There's an average probability of finding resources. Waiting for science ship. Where are we? It's a supply depot. Resource collected food. Oh, we can even go to Mars. No, 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 no. Don't, don't initiate the engines. I'm just checking things out. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Let's go back. So we need a workshop. I'm gonna put it in the corner here. How do you rotate this thing? So I guess those arrows needs to be connected somehow to the road. And I have a feeling we need roads here. So I think all of these supplies needs to be connected to a road so we can collect them. So, so I'm just gonna connect connect them for now. Looks like we already have roads here. And that's it for now. Uh, what else can we construct? A stockpile. Of course, we need a stockpile. I think I'm gonna put it. Put one. Can I put one in this corner? No. I'm gonna put it near the workshop. And let's. Oh my god, we have housing. Uh, how many people do we have? We have 85. Uh, gonna a housing complex here. I think that should do for now. What else do we have? We have food, a refactory, repairs up to ten food for the one hundred crew members every point five cycles. So that's half a day. I guess. So that's for food. What else do we have? Help. Infirmary capacity to heal up to 10 injured crew. Yes, we do need this. As soon as possible. What else? Factories. Uh, tech lab. Use a science research to unlock new buildings and building upgrades oh boy this is a big boy uh can we put it somewhere here okay let's what's this foundation for the future oh nice there's a little drone making roads. Oh, we can rotate the camera. So can we make roads here? We can make roads there. I didn't know we can rotate the camera. How many of these little drones do we have? Current power. How do we make more power? So we have. Sectors. Workplace safety is optimal. 
Water is obtained by transporting ice, is produced and stored in the water station. Water cannot be moved between sectors. It is required for several food production buildings. Okay then. This thing is in construction. We don't have access to this because we don't have roads. I think we have access to all of the these are by the way resources you need roads on them to gain access to them where is my little drone what, what do you need Oh good, workshop is active now. Still have power. So where is the drone? The building drone? Is this built? No, it's still in, in construction. Why is this small piece of road not connected? This piece of road. Why is this piece of road not connected? Yeah, make this road. Little drone. There we go. So now we have access to this what is this alloy this is also alloy oh i can turn this thing on and off workshop this also have people i think we're done what's this so this is food. This building is required. So what else do we have? Trusting and oh, this is the all the other blocks. So it looks like we have six blocks. I mean six sectors. And this is sector one. Let's speed things up. By the way, why is this thing not building? Required alloy. We have access to alloy. Is this not built? Awaiting orders. How do you... Is this not building? To collect available resources. Resources. This building needs to be connected with the active stockpile that can sort our stockpile is active so what's stopping them from gathering stuff Do I don't have an active stockpile? What's happening here? 
Okay, let's build another stockpile, okay? So what do you need? You need alloy. Set. Oh. Oh, we can have to set these two alloy. Oh my god. That's why nothing is working. So these are all alloy. That's why they are not doing anything. What about this? Uh, this polymer. All we have is alloy here. Alloy, alloy. Once this is done, I think I'm gonna set this to polymer. Or food, maybe. How do I remove this? I don't think I need this. Yeah, that's that's much more better. There we go. Okay, looks like our crew quarters is built. We have one crew car quarters built. Also, one food is equal to feed. You can feed ten crews. Eight, eight is required to feed all crews. Okay. That's good to know. Is this full already? Administrator, some of the crews have nowhere to live during the history of un unnecessary homeless. There's always been an indicator of civilization decay. Okay, we need more crew quarters, I guess. Housing. Oh. I made a mistake. I need to rotate you. Are you full? Oh my god, I need to click on everything so it gets collected. That's why it was not collecting anything. Okay, let's build. Let's build apartments. Okay, looks like I need to move this road. Yeah, let's let's just build it here. Soon as they manage to st store all of this, and yeah, looks like we have our tech lab done soon. Our infirmary is online. 
Are we making wood? Okay, looks like we need we need a stockpile for the food. And uh, another stockpile for the what's polymer. It looks like we have our research done. Let's see what Oh my god, the research tree is so big. Uh, cargo ship. That's the engine. Stockpile small. Oh, this is what we have already unlocked. Okay, looks like the other stuff is also unlocked for the demo. This thing is inactive. Why are you inactive? You will store food. Administrator, I have established a connection with Dolus' lead data scientist, Emma Klein. Administrator. Mr. Dolos has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security. Given the importance of the tycoon, we must have full control over what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dolos' lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department have just come. completed final synchronization between Eden and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS, or Data Listening System, is capable of scanning, recording, and parsing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming that is a part of Eden will filter all data collected and bring to your attention only the most relevant information. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate potential future outcomes. It will permit you to give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Oh Eden my god, unnecessary paperwork. Their DLS accreditation. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you'll find that once you start using the DLS, you'll never be able to do without it. Oh, and before I let you go ahead and start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of full jumping. Whilst there is a correlation between prolonged space travel and the development of early onset dementia, he believes that a whole jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although this is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members that are exhibiting uncharacteristic or symptomatic behavior to an infirmary, as these facilities are equipped to treat the mind as well as the body. Remember that all of your actions and choices are being reported by Eden. We are not affiliated with any national or even international organization. The only people that you are answerable to are those of us who sit on the Marduk Council, who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. Okay then. So basically, there's no law. And you can do anything you want. So where is my road? Why is my road not yet built? my other work other drone come on build this road I need this road yesterday there we go
I think this building cannot be connected, so I need to remove it. So you, we're gonna be alloy. Yes, come on, collect all this alloy so we can build roads. I think we need a road right here. So all those apartments cannot be accessed. Where do I see how many people are homeless? So we have 80, uh, 85 population. So each apartment can only hold 15. So let's calculate that. Eighty-five divided by fifteen. So we need five point six apartments. We're gonna build six just in case. Administrator, that thinking crew currently have no means of collecting food supplies from storage. Analysis suggests the impending crisis due an influx of hung hungry crew. And the sub okay. But I, I already have that. A docking bay. Wait. Still need. Oh, we already have six. Seven. Okay, we're done. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Marduk Council member Henry Martina. Bonjour, Administrator. What a wonderful day to embrace your faith, don't you think? I am Henri Barjaville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all, member of the Marduk Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Ushanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangais. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangais are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial test. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. So we need a... similar space will reveal the pattern. I didn't know we have a cargo ship. Uh... Yes, build a cargo ship. While you're at it, also build a science ship and a mining ship. We need all of this. Good, we have 90 polymers. You can build all of them. Construct a cargo ship. Construct a. Oh, good. Configure cargo ship to retrieve food from fleet management. Uh, cargo ship? Grab some food? Oh, it's now it's there. Can I see? Can I see this guy leaving? Uh, no, I guess. We saw the moon event. the moon event uh where is that oh we need a science ship for this 
it's the science ship. Then we have all the ships waiting for sign ship. Uh, do I need to order it from here? Uh, science ship. We saw the moon event. The base is out of commission, waiting for science ship. How do I... Oh! Oh, so that's how we send a science ship. Yes. Science see. ship has arrived at destination. Okay. The summary of intelligence collected from the abandoned moon base. The base is out of mission. Actually, systems are operational and used to be produce their power. There's an average probability of finding resources. Transmission from the light beam research UN base using robotic coordinates. It's an abandoned depressurized, but the VG surveillance is still functioning and awaiting orders. Uh, so if, if I exploit the security vulnerabilities, I get science. If we dismantle the camp, I get science and some resources. Yeah, let's dismantle this thing. I get two resources at the same time. What's this? Current power consumption. Oh, there's a loading bar. Okay, let's check our is everything dandy here looks like it you know my OCD is making all of this supply cash makes me want to build more stockpile Okay, looks like I found alloys and research and data list monitor. Can you go back? Do I need to do something for these guys? Oh. No, go back. Wait, sorry. I need you to go back. I need you to collect the science stuff. Administrator, I have an incoming transmission from Dolus's head of medicine, Dr. Abhinav Munchi. Yes. Greetings, Administrator. I'm Dr. Abhinav Munchi, Dolus expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Madhu Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today. So I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you're equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. End of discussion. Tutorial upgrade and technology. Uh, so tech lab generates research science points positively but the main way to earn science points is through space exploration 
Okay, let's go back. Let's see. So I actually saw Mars. Can we send our research team to the Mars? Yeah. There's an event available. Summary of intelligence connect concerning Mars probe. You can establish a facility on Mars. They are currently lacking the materials required to repair the critical fault in their oxygen supply. So, oh, how do we send supplies to these guys? I already have a science lab. Unlock the EVA suit. Okay. Do I have that in research? Uh, EVA. That's the docking. We have the airlock. Science ship has arrived at destination. Okay, let's see what uh repair the fault in exchange for resources repair the oxygen system in exchange for research data refuse to upship uh possible required resources yes let's repair this this guy just requires some alloys Yes, send some alloy here. What's this? That's our supply ship. Okay, let's build this EVA. EVA airlock. Oh boy, this thing is huge. This is huge. I'm gonna, I would like to put this in the corner. Like this corner, I guess. Means I need to demolish roads. EVA airlock. Wait, we can put this up here. Never mind. I'm, or I'm already committed to put it down here. This requires a hundred alloy. Let's see. So that's our cargo ship. Is there anything? Oh, we can send something to a Saturn. Right? The Saturn. Yeah, that sends our science ship to the Saturn. This game is really fun. Okay, let's see. What else do we need? Are you building? It's in construction. Oh boy, we are so close to the maximum power. Let's see. Okay, looks like we're done here. The sound of intelligence. We put the faulty in exchange for resource. Okay, we have. I'm gonna send the science ship here. I don't know what we're gonna find in Saturn. Can we move this ship somewhere? Can we move it near here? Oh, we can move it. How about move it closer? Let's see. Let's see what happens if we move it to Mars. Okay.
Nice, we are moving. Really, really slow. It's, it's even animated here. Oh, it looks like moving the ship requires a lot of power. Interesting. Beta zero, power of the zero. Okay, looks like we lost power. Move looks like moving the ship requires a lot of power. Okay, uh, I'll put that in. Where's my science ship? The science ship is still not here. Okay, it's here. Uh, a signature resemblance of that of an EPK Pulse Star has been detected. The EKP Propulsion technology is exclusive property of dollars, yet records indicate that, that the company has not deployed any mission to this sector signature we should enter atmosphere of something the little teams will perform eva to locate and investigate the signature once a signature has passed through the southern atmosphere the little team will now let's see let's try to collect Let's do some EVA suit. Is this on? Why are you not building? Don't you have roads? Oh my god, this guy doesn't have roads. That's why. That's why it's not getting built. Because it doesn't have roads. There we go. Now it's getting built. Okay, let's check on our science team. Okay, they're still do doing their research. Let's check. How about our research? Probe launcher. Yes. Oh, nice. Even the research has update. You can update research for the research. What else do we have here? Can't really zoom out. At least we're gonna have probe launcher soon. Hey, we're building it. We are building it. Let's check our science team. Okay, it's not. We are still not done. Let's speed things up. A scholarship team has completed a task. 
Okay, the prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to have a variation of e EKP propulsion. We have stripped it down and recovered information such as schematics and resources. Okay, thanks team. I would like you to go home now. Please. Administrator, due to insufficient levels of electricity generation, Sector 1's power demand has overloaded. Oh no. Stanford routines recommend that you construct an external solar panel to boost overall electrical output. I didn't know we can build outside. Wait, we can build outside. We can build outside. Small, small too, medium, large, 100. Also, these are just the same. Uh, with my current resource, I can only build the medium, medium to me. Oh, these are upgrades. So when I build the me medium one, I can build this and next this. Oh, nice. So we're going to build this. Medium one requires... 70 alloys and 70 what is this uh polymer and we'll output 40 okay so where is it can i see it getting built what can i see it getting built come on show me show me what you got uh, i can't see oh my god uh let, let's turn off the infirmary and some of the stockpile there we go Oh, I should have turned turn this thing off. Oh, so we do need restore power in order to build, I guess. Oh, oh we have even have whole integrity. We just need alloys to repair. Uh, where is it? I don't see it. Oh, they're sending resources to the EVA airlock, so looks like it's gonna get built soon. Fine, Steve. Can we move back to Earth? Yes, please. Nice. I'm gonna move the science team back to Earth. Research the Volvo engine is unlocked. Science team has completed an action, software event. Okay. Is it being built already? Oh, we're moving, that's why. Maybe they can build it while we're moving, I guess. Ship 
burst my cargo ship. Okay. So solar panels have been built already. No, not. Oh, there. Wait, wait. I can see it. They're building it. So that will increase my power by 40. Is it done? power let's see what else can I build outside solar panel what set one special oh so this is the box engine see I told you that the goals in set we can even build this small one. So what's next? So I should be some Saturn. Okay, let's check our research, I guess. Do we have Oh, it's turn off. Oh, we are researching the probe launcher. Docking bay constructs mining ship. I think this is a docking bay. Already have a docking bay. Solar panels. Reinforce all to keep the station propulsion safe. You can even upgrade the mining ship. Okay, we have a probe launcher now. Let's see what the probe launcher can do. Let's turn this on. We have enough power for everything. What? The tech lab is building something? I guess we need a road here. So I guess we need, we can... Let's wait for the probe launcher. Let's see what this thing can do. Uh, auto build we don't have anything to build a probe launcher we don't have polymers we don't have polymers to build a probe I guess we'll build we have already researched everything in the research tree that is in the demo. Then let's build the engine. The box box hill engine. I think this is for FTL faster than light travel. Oh nice. So that's our main engine. This is for the FTL engine. Can I see is there a loading? Yeah. Oh, it's 
Bill. That's a big ass wormhole generator. That's how you travel faster than light. The different phases of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the vole binding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Hello, Administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others, like Dolos, who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. As we prepare to lead this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief. But at least I can rest assured, knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light, and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. Okay, looks like we're going to depart our solar system next time. How do we do that? Space travel. Uh, when moving the hull of the Dragon. What? Moving this lowers our hull integrity? Why? It's nothing to corrode on space. have a mining ship no available resource wait where is this resource available for collection oh there's a research over there What is this? That's Neptune. Nep Nep. So how do I initiate is it loading? already done there's nothing to research in the demo how do I start the engines for FTL travel
vehicle is in orbit. Wait, we can build the probe. Maybe we need the probe. There we go. So I think we need the probe in order to launch. So we know where we go where we are going. There we go. We're building the probe right now. Okay. So we launch a probe. Oh, so that's what that's Resort, estimate, identify. Uh, let's say Mars? None. None. Ah. Let's send it to Neptune, I guess. There's none. So that's my probe send it to Saturn I guess how do I launch my box of engine now I can see its resource there's science here we are already at cycle 100 Select a stellar object in move position. We are still getting supply, fleet management. Okay, so we don't need the probe. So we're already at maximum capacity, I guess. We have science. Is there anything I miss? How do I launch this thing? Oh, we can automatically repair the hull, I guess. Fleet management. Tutorial, okay. Safe workplace, injuries. So this is to reduce risk. That's for harvesting resource. Your controls planetary view. Okay, now that placement, rotation, entries, building is place, resources delivered, construction roads. Also, the mechs are the one who builds, and there's also transporters, sectors, minimap. So we do have mini maps and batteries. Space travel. I just want to know how to space travel. Requires routing all power to the station, meaning that the battery batteries will take over. Okay. I don't know how to launch this thing. Maybe if we grab the last science. Let's move this thing here. So we're closer. Let's move to Saturn.
mining ships can only focus on one resource. Yeah, that cargo ship. Oh boy, I, I'm even faster than that science ship. Okay, this should make it faster so I can gather the resources here. Why is my Vox Hull engine not working? Okay, we gain a lot of science. But we are already at max research. Uh, I think we cannot launch the voxel engine in the demo. Select a stellar object. Uh, let's see space travel. Uh, it doesn't say how to use the voxel engine. So I guess I need to end the video right here. So I can't figure it out. Select a stellar object. Five cycles. How about this thing over here? Let's go to Neptune, I guess. Oh, this I can even see the names of the person that are in here. Lead management. Yeah, grab me some food. And we are on Neptune. Oh, we can only assign three resources for in this guy. So let's move back to Earth. Let's move to the moon's orbit, I guess. This is the moon, right? Where is the science team? Return science team. Okay, we have starvation right now. And... Okay. Ah, oh, now we can start the engine. Administrator, because of your continued successful management of the Tycoon, Dolos have authorized the dispatch of new crew members and food supplies. Please ensure that they have suitable accommodation once you reach Proxima Centauri. Science ship has arrived at destination. Charging full engine. Oh, that's... Now we can charge the engine. Let me see. Can I see this? Full engine ready. Yes, jump. So we're going to do an FTL jump. So that's how those engine works. It's making a miniature wormhole so we can fold space and time.
That's the only way to move faster in space. By the way, the, the mathematician already concluded that this is possible. We just don't know how to do it. But mathematically, we can fold space and time. But we just don't know how. This looks like an apple event. Evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath, Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny that we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine. Oh, great! The Vogue engine destroyed the moon. Nice. Okay. That's it, guys. This is an axiom. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to try it for yourself. It's currently out right now in Steam Next Fest. I mean the demo. Like and subscribe. See you again next time. Bye guys.